All right, everybody, so I'm in one of the model homes that I'm doing today. Uh, there's one right next door. I already finished it. Um, I was in it, working on it, and was thinking, you know, it's a model home. The carpets are in pretty much brand new shape. Um, just normal traffic from people coming by and looking at them. It looks like this has already been vacuumed not that long ago, but I am actually gonna vacuum it just to be safe. I did pull some stuff out of the other unit next door uh, while I was vacuuming and then when I was cleaning it it actually looked a little soiled more so than I was expecting it to be I thought it was going to be you know just light traffic not anything serious and um, you know it was it was definitely needed um, so you can see there's a couple little spots here that's mainly what prompted them to have me come clean for them I've actually done work for the the owner of the builder of these homes and um, clean their actual office too so I'm basically going around cleaning all the carpets this one's probably gonna be the worst because it's the bathroom um, that leads from where their office is in here sales office and whatnot so that's the bathroom that looks like it gets used and it kinda looks like the uh, carpet is just a smidge loose right here there appears to be a seam right there, so that would make sense. If this gets trafficked quite a bit, um, there's always a chance that that might have happened. So going over here in the back of the house, I've got the master bedroom. So um, it appears that somebody lives here, but they actually staged their homes completely for these models. So then I gotta go in here and clean this closet, and you can see another spot from people walking in somebody tracked something in and then uh, somebody must have sat on the bed because they told me to come clean the side of this frame here you can see the dirt mark all right sorry about that guys I got a phone call um, so yeah they wanted me to clean this here it looks like somebody sat on the edge of the bed and maybe a kid or something and kind of scuffed their foot across the side here so being a light color this showed right up on the material so I'm gonna clean this up before I clean the master bedroom but um, yeah these are beautiful homes looks like they put a lot of detail I mean into this I mean this is pretty sweet looking little wine cellar slash bar deal pretty cool uh, also I'm out in Manteca California if you're wondering where these homes are at um, like I said, I've done work for the one of the owners of the business and uh, cleaned his house and their main office and uh, got a call a few days back asking if I can come do their model homes and um, was like, sure, why not? Let's get it taken care of, get these up to par, back to normal standards. So, yeah, you can see the vacuum vacuum lines they said that they have house cleaners here every other week um, to maintain the home which is fantastic um, so you could tell that they put uh, effort into keeping these homes looking good for potential clients to purchase their their places so it's pretty well staged I mean it's pretty awesome looking and everything in the house that's directly Next to it over here is the one I was talking about. It's a two-story. This is a single story. Um, so I purposely did the two-story first. So that way the next one here would be a breeze since I don't have to do staircase. Um, so I was trying to make my, my life easier. <laughs> and then also after this one, I got, um, uh, I believe it's an empty house out in Oakdale after I'm done here. So just wanted to show you guys around so you could see what I'm up against. Um, like I said, the first one, I didn't video any because, well, I didn't expect it to be looking really dirty or anything. And so I didn't uh, take the time for that. So I'll do a little footage on this one. Um, they got those door that automatically closes, but I still put mine, mine up on here uh, because once I have stuff laid out, I don't want any of the exhaust from my machine to come in. So it's an interesting setup. I'll show you guys real quick. So this is all gated all the way around. 
So I kind of centered myself between the two homes and uh, ran the line through and then the steam line over because I just kind of pulled it over. But the vacuum line I wanted to keep lower down. But uh, yeah, so just knocked that one out. Machine's on because I'm getting ready to pre-spray the other house. Uh, and so that's what I got going on. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I uh, appreciate your time. And uh, just a little tip for those who are new to my channel. There are videos that are no talking and straight up cleaning. Um, you'll have to search for them a little bit. I think I have some of them uh, under a, um, what's it called, a playlist. And so if you look in there, you may find a couple there, but there are some that I did not that long ago, maybe a month back or less. Um, if you scroll down, you'll find it. It usually says empty house, ASMR or something like that. Um, if you'd like to see a cleaning job done and strictly that's it. Um, I don't have a ton of them, but I believe I have probably at least six, six or seven on the channel if that's what interests you. But otherwise, for those who like the content, how it's going so far, I'm trying to um, keep it as fresh as possible, explain what I'm doing, and talk to you guys a bit more um, about why I do things the way I do them. And, um, you know, I, I'm learning too as I go. This is my first time owning a business with my wife. I like to say I'm doing pretty, pretty good so far. I mean, this is two model homes from a home builder that's trusting me to take care of them so that they're looking beautiful as, as always for their uh, potential home buyers. As he, there's a lot of the homes that are still in development over here and this is specifically their, their development from what I've seen so far. So, um, if you're in the market for a house, um, Windward Pacific builders making some nice homes. All right guys, so I'm in the last bedroom of the second house, the single story. And you can see those little spots there. It's not that this carpet's in bad shape by any means because it is basically brand new. It's just, they had a few, somebody, or a few people, that had tracked something in, probably off the street. Caused some little black dots to appear. So that was, I think, what triggered them to have me out, but um, I don't know exactly how long these model homes have been here but they kind of made it sound like, you know, it's been at least six months or so, uh, because they were wondering why they waited so long, or it, it could be less than six months, or it could be more than six months. I don't know, they didn't spe specify, excuse me. Um, but these are not bad by any means. It to be cleaned up. Thank the Lord for the swivel. Swivel wand. Makes my life so much easier. Took a couple jobs to get used to when I first bought one a few years back, but I will never go back to a straight wand ever again when it comes to your normal residential wand.
All right, guys, I'm going to finish this up. Appreciate you watching. Probably try and get some more content at my next stop. Uh, like I was mentioning before, I have a third stop in Oakdale. I believe it's supposed to be empty. Um, so that should be a prime time to get uh, some additional footage for you guys. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. If you're Black Friday uh, shopping, uh, this is probably going to get posted after the fact. But I hope everybody was safe and uh, you know was able to get a few things that they were looking to get for, for themselves or a friend or family. Um, I'm looking forward to the holiday with my three boys and my wife. And um, yeah, should be a great time. But yeah, you guys stay safe. Hope you guys all had a happy holiday so far for Thanksgiving. And looking forward to Christmas. All right, decided to do a little walkthrough so you guys can see the carpets. So this is kind of a staged office setup. And the two bedrooms, of course. First one I showed you, second one here. Um, they have dual bed kind of situation here, like it's set up for like a girl or a couple of girls. Nice, nice rooms. Did a great job of staging stuff. Of course, this is the uh, center room. It's got its own bathroom in it. And then back here, the master bedroom. So again, carpet was not in bad shape at all. Just a little bit of soiled areas from showing it. Like I said, it's a home builder, Winwood Pacific. See, I left some of my cards here for them. Um, and I also left a, a spot cleaner in each house. Um, the first one, the sales lady took that one and it's got it in the office because this house is conjoined to um, the sales office. And then the other one I put on their counter like you saw my cards. So that's it for these two homes. Thank you guys so much for watching.